real and fabricated content. As a result, deep fakes have the potential to erode trust in traditional media, sow discord among populations, and undermine the very fabric of our shared reality. As someone who has been personally affected by deep fakes, I can tell you it's a deeply unsettling experience. The first time I saw a deep fake video with my face, I was in shock. It was so realistic that even I had to do a double take. The video was used to spread false information about me, and it had a significant impact on my personal and professional life. The worst part is the feeling of helplessness. Once the deep fake is out there, it spreads like wildfire, and there's very little you can do to stop it. The damage to my reputation was done before I even had a chance to respond. It's a violation of my privacy and my identity, and it leaves you feeling vulnerable and exposed. What makes it even more concerning is the potential for deep fakes to be used in more sinister ways. Imagine a deep fake of a world leader making inflammatory statements, or a deep fake used to blackmail someone. The possibilities for harm are endless, and it's a scary thought. We need to take this threat seriously and work together to find solutions. Whether it's through better technology to detect deep fakes, stronger legal protections, or simply raising awareness. We must act now to protect ourselves and our society from the dangers of deep fakes. In this age of deep fakes, privacy and consent have taken on new dimensions. We must ask ourselves who controls our digital likeness? And more importantly, how do we protect it? These are complex questions that require a multifaceted approach, combining technology, law, and ethics. Raising awareness and educating the public are crucial steps in combating the misuse of deepfakes. It's not just about knowing that deepfakes exist, but also understanding how they can be identified and what tools are available to counteract them. Technological solutions like advanced detection algorithms play a vital role in this fight. The media has a significant role in shaping public opinion about deepfakes. Responsible reporting can help inform and educate the public, while sensationalism can lead to unnecessary panic. It's important for journalists to strike a balance and provide accurate, well-researched information to their audiences. As we navigate the challenges posed by deepfakes, it's clear that a collective effort is required. From individuals to institutions, everyone has a role to play in safeguarding the truth. Stay informed, advocate for stronger regulations, and support technological advancements. Together, we can mitigate the risks and harness the potential of this powerful technology for good.